First off, I need to make it clear that this video is sponsored by ASUS and Intel thanks to the Intel Gamer Days event, a 10 day long festival of deals that's live right now and ends on the 5th of September. So make sure you check out the link in the description below to find the full schedule of deals to bag yourself some epic hardware. Now what I've got here is the ASUS Zephyrus M16. It's powered by an Intel Core i9-11900H with 8 cores and 16 threads and a max boost of 4.9 GHz thanks to Intel Turbo Boost Max 3.0. It even supports PCIe Gen 4, so ASUS have included a Samsung PCIe Gen 4 2TB NVMe SSD in this thing. You also get 32GB of DDR3200 RAM, and to top it off, it's even rocking an RTX 3070 with a peak 100W TDP. For the display, that is a stunning 2560x1600 165Hz IPS level panel that covers a whopping 100% of the DCI-P3 spectrum. As you can tell from the spec, this thing not only offers an excellent gaming experience, but really is the full package with plenty of power for seamless streaming or uh, editing those highlight reel clips. The key here is the 11th gen Core H series CPU. Intel designed it to offer desktop caliber gameplay, content creation, and mobile workstation productivity and let you play games the way they were meant to be experienced. That continues with these chips supporting PCIe Gen 4. As more games, uh, game engines start to adopt the Microsoft Direct Storage API, having an ultra-fast SSD will be more and more beneficial as games can leverage the insane 7,000 megabytes per second or 7 gigabytes per second read speeds you get from the M16's Gen 4 SSD and the 11900H. On top of that, the combination of a fast 8-core 16-thread CPU, Intel's integrated UHD graphics, and 32 gigabytes of high-speed RAM offers a killer streaming experience too. You can use Intel QuickSync to encode your stream at high quality while gaming and drop next to no performance, and you can even use QuickSync when editing your stream clips in programs like Premiere to make your editing experience smoother and render your videos faster. Now, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another to actually experience it. So let's jump in and have a little play. So I've fired up Cyberpunk 2077 and we're in the downtown area. It's a game that I've tested a fair amount and I can tell you that it can be pretty CPU limited. But despite running at the full 2560 by 1600, which is more pixels than 1440p and running at high ultra settings, and recording the screen for you guys to see using OBS, we're still getting, what, around 60 FPS average in a game that even some top-end desktop cards can struggle to run at that sort of frame rate. So this is pretty sweet. So apparently there's someone here I need to rescue, so let's um, have a little look around. Uh, there's some more people here. Right, let's go save somebody if I can find all of the bad guys. That's there. No, 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 no. What about in here? Ah, there is some stairs. Right, here we go. Another camera, another camera. You. Another camera. Got that. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, right. He's limping because he's uh, he's been injured. Ah, that makes more sense. Out you come. Right. Let's go. And we're even getting 70 FPS through that. So that's uh, that's pretty decent. And we saved a guy. <laughs> but what if you're a bit more of an esports gamer and you want to make use of the 165 hertz refresh rate you get 
on this laptop. Well then you might want to consider playing a game like CSGO, where again, at 2560 by 1600 and uh, while well, recording the screen for you guys to see, we're still getting well over 200, eating into 300 FPS average, which I think is plenty for uh, this style of, or this, uh, you know, refresh rate of screen. It's also a rather nice experience too, especially thanks to that nice high resolution. The, the pixel density is crazy. Uh, and so let's have a play with this. Let's have, have a go with the AWP. I probably won't be able to use it very effectively, but let's, let's have a go. Oh, got one. And another. It, it does help that they are mostly standing still. And another. No, slightly to the right. Ah. And there we go. Well, that was a fast round. <laughs> and we're still getting 250, 280 FPS average here. So that's pretty decent. Got him in the leg. Come on. Oh, the, the rest of them are there. Yeah, last one. Here we go. No. Ah. I always I, I correct too much or I flick too far. Oh well. Well, the good news is that laptop's playing great. Uh, like I said, we're still getting 200, 300 FPS, so it's a pretty decent experience. And of course, we have the ever popular Fortnite, where I'm playing at epic settings and at 2560 by 1600, the, the full resolution. And we're still getting currently 90 FPS average as we land down on a building. Gonna search through a crate for some weapons and I actually got some shield potion this time. That's nice. Let me uh, pop that real quick. Um, but yeah, we're getting 91 FPS or 94, 101 right now, uh, which is pretty decent. Uh, and again, this is epic settings and at the full resolution. So if you did want to push it a little bit higher, closer to the uh, 165 hertz refresh rate, then there is plenty of scope to do that. I see some shots on the map and I see some building going on over there. So let's go say hi and make friends. I thought I saw him around here. Come on. You see, I don't play Fortnite enough to build enough to do this well. But you know, I'll make it work. Oh, he's hiding in there and healing. And there's also a car underneath me. Sweet. I thought that would happen. Come on. Come on. No! Oh, I was so close. Oh, uh, the, the car and the person uh, distracted me a bit too much there. Ah well, I tried. Well, either way, it's playing perfectly well. We're getting 112 FPS average watching them, so I'd say, I'd say that's pretty decent on Epic settings at 1600p. So that's a quick look at this beast of a gaming laptop and a bit about Intel's 11th gen Core H CPUs. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below to ASUS's page that lists all of the Intel Gamer Days information and deals. They're offering the, the best savings of the year on all things Intel, from elite desktops to their killer gaming laptops like this one, and even components, so do check it out. I also want to thank ASUS and Intel for supporting the channel and, uh, by sponsoring this video, and of course, you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday basis, whether it's showcases like this or reviews of these sorts of laptops or CPUs, anything else, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You can also check out plenty of other videos on the end cards as well, perhaps some of ASUS's other laptops as I have checked out a number of them. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.